सतगुरु महाराज जी की जय सच्चे दरबार की जय हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू टुडे स्पेशल डिस्कोर्स लाइफ इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द चॉइसेस वी मेक वट एवर वी आर हु एवर वी आर एट वट लेवल वी आर इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द चॉइसेस वी हैव मेड इन द पास्ट Every single day we are given an opportunity to make many different choices throughout the day. And the choices are based on of our understanding of life, of situation, our knowledge, our wisdom. And based on that we make choices numerous time during the day. An accumulative result of all those choices is a result of the life that we have today there is no such thing bad choice or worse choice or good choice it is your own personal understanding and wisdom because at every choice that everyone makes they do it to the best of their knowledge the best capacity of understanding that they have the wisdom that they have that they utilize to make their choice and every single choice will teach us something will gain some sort of an experience as a result of our choice now people most of the time regret the choices they make because they bear a very bitter fruit regardless is in the case of relationships in case of the the life career that they chose or anything whatever in life that they did people most of the time regret and they lose so much energy and efforts and and so much of their time regretting about the past but regretting will not help you gain anything better in life it is best that from those choices the results that we received from those choices we learn from them we gain higher understanding from them and if you think you made the wrong choices make that decision gain that wisdom so you never have to go through that situation ever again you never have to make that bad choice ever again so we should not criticize others when they make any wrong decisions or they choose a wrong path but should help them and if you are that person who has a trend of making wrong choices then contemplate and learn from your mistakes and never follow the same path on which you have gained pain and suffering in the past long time back there were five friends one day they decided that they want to go on an adventure they want to reach a certain place and want to discover something that was there so they all decided so one day they packed up their foods and bags and they started walking and they had to go through a very big forest that journey was started out to be good and exciting and they were happy and they were looking forward to that journey but as time passed as they kept walking and they could not reach the destination they start to get tired as they reached the middle of the forest they got lost they didn't know what to do where to go so they all sat down and says what should we do so one of them said well i'm going to go to the left and see what life holds for me in that direction i said okay the other one says i'm going to go right because right is always right right came from rightness so i'm going to take the right one of them said i'm going to go straight and i'm going to reach the destination the fourth one says i'm going just going to go back i i cannot take this i'm going to go back Now the, they were looking towards the fifth one that whose choice he will attach himself to would he go left would he go right would he go forward would he go back but the fifth one was wise 
and he said you guys go ahead and i will just stay here and figure out what i have to do so the four of them went in all four different directions the fifth one sat down and contemplated what is the best way to deal with this situation so he found the tallest tree near him and he started to climb as he climbed halfway he started to see things a little bit clearly he kept putting the efforts and he kept climbing up and up and when he reached almost the top he saw his destination from that height he was able to see where he had to go he could see his destination he could see which direction he had to go when he climbed really to the top of that tree and reached the greatest heights he could see things even more clearly he could see his destination and he could see two different paths leading to that destination from where he was standing one was very long going around the whole forest and reaching that destination and one there was a shortcut the long path the long route was very smooth it had very less obstacles but it would take a long long time but then there was a shortcut which had some stones and trees and different paths he has to take and climb certain heights but that was the shortest but he knew exactly what he had to do in order to reach that destination so let me ask you now which one of them the five friends and the five choices that they made was the right one and which was the wrong one you decide in your mind which one of them was the right choice and which one of them was the wrong was it the person went on a left and right forward and back or the one went to the top of the tree most of you will think that it is the person who climbed to the top of the tree but in reality none of their choices were wrong because each person's choice taught them a lesson in life gave them an experience of life and they learned something from it they gained something from it the person who went left he met a very dense forest and he got lost and he didn't know what to do and there were wild animals and fighting for his life fighting for his survival he lived and he fought harder and harder and he gained so much strength and so many techniques of survival that his life became better the person who went to the right he got kidnapped by the thieves and he lived with the thieves and they made him steal and and, and live their life but slowly he learned how they behaved and then he was able to become friends with them and he was able to show them the way of life how humanity should exist in their hearts and some of them changed their way of thinking so he learned from them and he taught them something the one went forward he became sick after some time so he had to try different plants and eat different leaves and different herbs and trying all of that he learned which herb was good and which herb was able to treat different type of his sicknesses so he learned medicine the one who went back he went back and told others listen don't go to the forest unless you don't know which way to go don't go because you will have very hard life and you will have to make very hard choices so stay back until some of them or any one of them come back and show us the way now the fifth one he reached the destination and he was able to enjoy what they wanted to discover 
he discovered it. Now, none of them is wrong. But if your focus is on a destination, if you are determined, and if you want to reach your destination without gaining the struggles and pains and suffering of life, then it is the best choice to climb to the top and see which way you have to go. Now, how can we relate this in life, in day-to-day -day life? Whatever choices we make, none of them are wrong. They will teach us something. But if you want to escape the suffering of life, the hardship and difficulties that we have to experience based on our own choices, then it's better to see life from the greatest height. And in order to do that, we need to find a spiritual teacher who have climbed and who have raised his consciousness to a certain height, to the greatest height from where life is very clear. From that perspective, you can see your destination very clearly and you can see your path very clearly which way you have to go. And if we can see our life through his eyes, if we can in tune ourselves with that entity, with that power and see life from that high perspective, trust me, you won't make any wrong choices that you have to regret in your life. You never would have to make any choice that would bring difficulty in your life that would bring suffering in your life that would take you in a wrong direction and further away from your destination and our destination is peace our destination is happiness our destination is calmness serenity and those who want to reach the greatest heights their destination should be self-realization this their destination should be to be one with that divine power. So when we find such a spiritual teacher, we start at the root. And the root of that path is Master's feet. All the blessings, all the grace, all the wisdom, all the understanding will be gained from there. And once we gain the divine knowledge from him and learn how to climb inside and raise our consciousness, we will keep rising up and up and we will get in tune with his spiritual power, with his vision, with his perspective of life sitting at the greatest height. We will always make the right decisions and we would not have to go through difficulties, suffering and pain in life. Even though every choice, every difficulty, every pain teaches us something, but it is not necessary that we should go and experience that. There's a way, much better and wiser way to live life. So any choices that you make in life, which brings hardship in life, don't regret it, but learn from it and then make the wise decisions in the future. But those who want to reach their destinations, those who want to avoid all of that, find a spiritual teacher, find a spiritual master who can give you that wisdom, that understanding and show you life from a highest perspective so you don't have to go through all that pain and you will reach your destination very shortly. So thank you for watching. Keep meditating. Those who have spiritual knowledge from Master Sarv Shri Ashutosh Maharaj, they know how to climb inside. They know how to raise their consciousness. They know how to get in tune with His power, with Him. And those who do not, find such a realized teacher who can open your third eye and give you a technique to connect with your own self and a technique how to connect with his powers. 
so life could be easier and so we all can experience peace and happiness in our life and also at the same time reach our destination have self realization so thank you all for watching continue meditating continue elevating and continue doing good deeds in life and until next time god bless